ensure the health and well-being of man, medicine must concern itself not only with man himself, but with the world in which he lives. A wide spectrum of environmental factors support, influence, or impinge upon human life. In the Army, the broad and complex mission of protecting the health of the soldier belongs to the medical department. For over 200 years, the Army has fulfilled this mission by meeting the medical needs of the individual and by providing a comprehensive program of community health service to the military installation. In other words, public health has long been a part of military medicine. It is in this field of military medicine that the Army veterinarian has a particularly vital role. Many people assume that the education, training, and utilization of veterinarians are directed exclusively to the care of animals. In truth, one of the most important contributions of the veterinary profession is in the field of public health. Many of these problem areas fall within the scope and knowledge of veterinarians trained and certified as specialists in the field of public health. They include the wholesomeness, sanitation, and nutritional quality of food supplies, the control of diseases transmitted by animals. There are many animal diseases which are transmissible to man. These diseases are widespread and cause disability and death in many parts of the world, especially in areas where man and animal live in close proximity. Wherever the Army is located, Army veterinarians provide a first line of defense by operating animal disease prevention and control facilities. These facilities provide a screening service for the early detection of transmissible animal diseases. Routine examinations for parasites constitute a safeguard against human infestations and also help prevent disease transfer to other animals. Veterinary public health programs also support the nation's animal industry to assure that government leased property does not become a reservoir of infection. The Army veterinarian on many of the larger installations closely monitors the health of the animals. This is a program that also requires close cooperation with federal and state animal disease regulatory agencies. Horses on military installations are immunized annually against the equine encephalitides. Surveillance for animal diseases transmissible to man, such as the arthropod-borne viral encephalitides, involves collecting and compiling of information regarding a particular disease and evaluating this data to establish control or eradication measures. Blood samples from sentinel animals or birds and periodic collections of mosquitoes are examined for both antibody and infectious agents. The veterinarian in his public health capacity often reviews laboratory results and hospital records. Diseases suspected of having been acquired through animal contact can then be traced to the source of infection. For example, ringworm, a fungus disease, when diagnosed by the physician, notifies the veterinarian who examines the family pets and known animal contacts as a routine procedure, since animals are known to be a primary source of ringworm infection.
The potential magnitude of a disease problem existing within a specific area can be provided by the systematic collection and examination of wildlife. Road-killed animals are often posted by the veterinarian and selected specimens are collected and sent to Army laboratories for studies. Incidents of serious diseases in wildlife such as rabies or leptospirosis may be revealed by this method. Wildlife management programs usually include annual harvesting of deer through controlled hunting. This provides the veterinarian with an excellent opportunity to assess the general physical condition of the deer population and determine disease incidents. At many installations, hunters are often provided with specimen bags in which to place organs and viscera, which will be used for laboratory study. The veterinarian inspects the deer harvest for a variety of disease conditions, including suitability for consumption. While the prevention and control of foreign animal diseases is the responsibility of the United States Department of Agriculture, Army veterinary personnel can be quickly mobilized to assist in short-term disease eradication programs when the need arises. The Army Veterinary Service was asked to assist during the outbreak of exotic Newcastle disease, which endangered the poultry industry of Southern California and was called upon again during the Texas outbreak of Venezuelan equine encephalomyelitis, which threatened the nation's equine population. The Surgeon General of the Army is responsible for assuring every soldier access to a variety of nutritional and wholesome foods. Army veterinarians play a major role in this endeavor. An excellent example of a food protection program associated with troop feeding is seen at West Point, where more than 12,000 meals are served daily. Here, military veterinarians, assisted by veterinary and environmental health enlisted specialists, oversee the entire food hygiene, safety, and quality assurance program from purchase to consumption. The utilization of the health and environment technicians to train employees in proper food handling procedures and practices is a vital part of the program. Samples of ice cream manufactured at the cadet mess are selected by a veterinary specialist and submitted to an army medical laboratory for physical, chemical, and bacteriological analysis. Food products purchased are inspected for wholesomeness and quality. Food stored in portable hot carts is inspected prior to serving to determine if proper holding temperatures which will preclude the growth of infectious organisms are being maintained. Samples of prepared foods are often collected for laboratory evaluation to assist the veterinarian in the investigation of instances of food mishandling or suspected foodborne disease. Researchers are currently focusing on the use of ionizing radiation as a new, effective method of food preservation. The Army's program is to develop the technological base and to determine the safety and wholesomeness of this new food process. Preservation of foods with ionizing energy only slightly affects nutritional quality, appearance, taste and texture while the thermal process often significantly alters these characteristics. Another major problem throughout the world is insect contamination of stored foods. Tremendous losses occur annually. In order to prevent this needless loss, Army veterinarians working in close conjunction with research personnel from the United States Department of Agriculture conducted extensive evaluation studies of a non-residual fumigant the simplicity associated with the handling and application of this fumigant while simultaneously retaining the wholesomeness of the product make it particularly adaptable, whether in a warehouse or a freight car. The Army Veterinary Service may obtain valuable information by establishing liaison with personnel involved in environmental quality 
thus assuring protection of the health of the military community. Pesticides, fertilizers, and other chemicals which may pollute our waters can accumulate in existing marine life. The periodic monitoring of fish and other aquatic species for toxic residuals is an important public health activity, often requiring the cooperation of state regulatory personnel. Soil serves as a reservoir of infection for several mycotic diseases. These diseases are contracted through the inhalation of airborne spores in the dust. Here, the veterinarian and the safety officer cooperate in the development of methods to minimize this airborne health hazard. Many aspects of public health programs depend upon the group or team approach. Since much of the veterinarian's training is directed toward the group health concept, the Army veterinarian is well qualified to function as the advisor and administrator and is being increasingly utilized in the management of the installation's health and environment program. Uniting diverse health professionals into a team, each member contributing from his own specialty field. The duties and activities of this team are concerned with various aspects of community health. At some installations, the veterinarian serves as chief of the health and environmental activities. In this role, he monitors and supervises the public health program of the military community by coordinating closely with skilled specialists in the areas of safety, environmental health, and pest control. For example, the high noise level created by a tank is suspected of being a potential hearing hazard to crew members. Working in close conjunction with the safety engineer, the veterinarian monitors the health and environment personnel, evaluating noise levels and work environments, test personnel for hearing activity, and makes recommendations for alleviating possible noise hazards. The sanitation and water quality of swimming pools are closely monitored by the health and environment technicians. Control of mosquito population is necessary for the health and comfort of the community. In his management role, the veterinarian also supervises screening programs designed to oversee the significance of health conditions within the military population, which can be a valuable tool for effective health care and are being initiated at some installations. Early detection of a disease is often a lifesaver, not only for the victim, but for the community as a whole. It enhances the recovery potential and conserves money and time for both the patient and the health care professional. This multi-phase screening program monitors for age and weight. Tuberculosis and hypertension. Blood pressure readings are promptly evaluated and medical referrals are made when indicated. Results from this screening will not only identify potential victims of hypertension or heart disease, but will be used jointly by medical personnel to develop a health maintenance program which will include exercise and weight control to avoid subsequent health problems. Radiographs are taken of all individuals having a positive skin test for tuberculosis in order to properly evaluate the patient and determine what follow-up procedures are necessary. Knowledge can sometimes be preventive in itself. Public health education is an attempt to enlist the entire community in the fight against disease. Command briefings assure that all members of the health team are apprised of external factors that threaten the health of individual members of the community. Public health veterinary medicine has been defined by the World Health Organization as the field of activity which protects and advances human well-being by utilizing the combined knowledge and resources of all those concerned with human and animal health and their interrelationships. Because of the great variety of responsibilities he must be prepared to assume, 
the Army veterinarian is among the most versatile and broadly utilized members of the Army health care team.